Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Samuel Vidal and on this second part of this video we are going to continue um, making um, this awesome character um, Blaze Fielding from um, Steel Rage 4 and in the first part we already saw that um, we started by um, making her in character creator 3 so now I'm going to continue with you know exporting the FBX file to blender to do some editing there so let's get started first thing I'm gonna do is open up blender here okay and I'm going to delete this cube by it's already selected and press X to delete. Okay. And I'll save this file because just to be safe. Uh, so this area here is a 3D viewport here. Okay. So let's divide this. Okay, let's so make it two. And <clears throat> I am going to import the FBX file here. So you go to file here, import FBX. And make sure this is the correct one. Okay, and it'll take a while. And there it is. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to select this one, the viewport shading. See the materials, okay. One thing I want to do before I proceed is I'm going to select the armature here and I'm going to go to this option here, the editor type, and I'm going to select the dope sheet here. And you see these dots here, these are keyframes. And what I want to do is delete them because then later on whenever I'm done um, if I do a rendering in a different pose then it'll go back to that keyframe so I, I simply will delete it by pressing X and delete keyframes so that's done <coughs> okay now um, you notice um, here the model there's a few things we have to fix like the the hair see it looks way too glossy and have to fix the skirt cut here which is the first thing I want to do first I'm gonna start with the skirt okay I'm gonna press one in the numpad to put on the front here, front view. And I'm going to select tab, or you can go here in this option and select edit mode. Okay. And you notice immediately um, this occur when you go to edit mode, and then you can go here in this option. Okay, and you want to select this option here and this one, and that will fix that. That kind of like displacement that you see when you enter into the edit mode. <clears throat> First thing I am noticing is that the faces here are 
triangulated. See, one, two, three. And I want to make the a quad, um, you know, four, two, three, four. So make sure that everything is selected with A. You got this option here, face. And you're going to select this um, option here, trees to quads, or you can press Alt J, okay? And boom. See now, now they no longer triangulated, more um, quads. See. So now I am going to select the face select mode here. And I'm going to um, <clears throat> proceed to cut this skirt here. Okay, I think around there. And I want to select this entire loop. Okay. So I'm going to select Shift, Alt, and right click. And that will select the entire loop and delete by pressing X, of course, and faces. Okay, and that loop is gone there. Okay, now all I have to do is select one here, one face, and then hit Control L and everything select now you have to make sure that you have the the cursor on top of it oh let me see if i don't have it oh it's okay it's still selected without being okay i'm sorry about that um as long as you select one and then control l we're fine okay and it's gone and wow, look at that. See, now she looks awesome. Kind of like photo reference here. See? So, I am going to select this edges here the same way, you know, Shift, Alt, and right click. Okay. And I'm going to press the E in my keyboard for extrude. And then I'm going to select the the letter S for scale. I'm just gonna scale it in just a tiny bit there so it'll give some thickness to skirt. I mean that edge there. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back to this um panel here and under um modifier properties this option add a modifier. I'm just gonna go and add a subdivision surface to smooth that um skirt here. See? and you can go higher here this is for the render and this is for the viewport but remember the higher you go the more it will compromise your computer okay so let us now hit control s for saving i'm sorry there we go okay Now, I'm going to go over here in the top and select this to, to do a preview of a render. Okay. You see that there. Now I'm going to go and move this light here by selecting it with the right, right click. If you have it, um, select the option. And move it there then hit number three in the numpad and to select the side view and it's 
go here. Oh, this is a, a point light here, but if you notice, because this was the one that was there on the default light when you open Blender. And see, they got it here like a thousand, I think so, watts. Okay. So that's why it's that bright. You can also um, use any other ones of this one here, the sun, the spot, the area, but we'll use this one for now, okay? And you see this overlay here, like the grid and the axis line here. If you want to, you know, hide that, just simply press this option here, show overlay, and it's gone, see? Okay, and now we will fix the background here. Okay. And now I want to give it a little bit more of color here. Okay. And one way to do that is I can go to this option here on the render properties okay and in this option here color management okay down here on your right see this option here display device okay on the second option here view transform it's already there um check on filmic i'm gonna put that in standard see that fix a little bit gets more color to this and if you want to put a little bit more contrast then on the third one here you can select like a medium high contrast see and it'll give more contrast to this the higher you go see the more contrast well i just only gonna use the let me see this one no medium high i guess leave it there okay Now I am going to select the skirt. Well, let me put in the material um, mode here and select the skirt. Right click and this viewport, this side of the viewport here, I am going to divide it. And I am going to select the shader editor. And I'm gonna press N to get rid of this tab here. Okay. And there is some um, options here like um, this image texture here. Is connected to this emission. I'm going to disconnect that. I don't need that there. Okay. Makes the skirt too bright. Okay. Actually, I'm going to use the same one there. And I'm going to select this folder to open directory. And let's see, I'm going to go to Blaze Building, go to Textures, Blaze. And I'm going to look, I'm going to look for the, um, what's it called? Um, this one, Slit Skirt. And 
and I am going to start with the uh, roughness. Okay, this texture here is what dictates once you connect it to this option here, roughness. It dictates how much um, of roughness or, or in this case glossiness is gonna have see that's all it is okay how much glossy is gonna be in this case it's supposed to be leather so this is how much it's gonna be then you can um with with this selector here you can press shift d to make a copy and i'm going to look now i can just can go here see on recent split skirt and let me see I add this one, the ambient occlusion. Okay. And that one to um after you add that one you go here to add and color and mix RGB. You're gonna place it here on the if you use um, texture here, just connect it to the base color. And then you are going to connect this one here. And make sure the this one, I always forget this. This option is selected non-color. That's actually the same thing for this one that I forgot to do was to Select the non color. Okay. And you notice that uh, the skirt is still white, there's no texture here. All you have to do is select multiply. Okay. And we hit save. Okay, and I think this is it for the skirt. Okay, next thing I'm going to move on is to um, belt here. Okay, just gonna go edit mode. Then we're gonna go modifier on properties. Select these options here. And first thing I want to do is select this. I'm going to select here face mode here. Select one, select all this. Okay. And hit Control L to select everything. X and delete. Okay. Then Go back. I'm gonna go back to object mode and with the bell selected, I'm going to press here Shift H to hide everything else except the belt. Tap mode, select the belt, Control L, and Shift H. No, oh, sorry, did that wrong. <laughs> selected this buckle here and shift h okay and now i'm gonna go to vertex select mode press z for wireframe okay. and press b for the circle select 
I'm going to start fixing all this. Okay. And press um, G to grab. Okay. Let's see. Press S and Z to scale on the Z axis. Yeah, it's still a little bit. Okay. Press now to bring um, the belt that I hide. You press all. H to bring it back again. Okay. Press G and Z to move it on the Z axis. Okay, and then press Z material preview. Okay. Now, real quick, we're going to go here to put some textures here. Again, pretty much the same thing I did with the skirt. Going to select this. Another way to add another um, image texture here is going here, add texture, image texture. Okay. Then. <clears throat> I'm gonna go here to all the, hold on, go to the material, make sure you have selected, in this case, the buckle here, which is the, the first thing I wanna add, the textures. And go here, open, you can go here, slit skirt, and then move an option back again to the previous folder and here punk belt buckle okay and we're going to add uh, metallic and remember non color and this one will go to metallic here okay Shift D to duplicate and now we're gonna go for the roughness. Okay. Noun color. Roughness here, see? Now if we do a well, I was going to do a render preview here. Let me see. The only thing is we don't have the light because it's hidden. Okay. We can bring it back up. Okay. Kind of looks metallic now, see? But we have to do the same thing for this belt because you see this rivet here see so we have to select that and do the same thing also okay just gonna do that real quick here okay select the little buckle we're gonna go here belt i go metallic select and uh, color shift D. You have now in this case you need to have the cursor here. Shift D. See. And. Just 
Okay. Roughness. No color. See. I hope I didn't do. Well, okay. Nothing. I don't think nothing was selected when I first hit Shift D. Make sure. I select this. Okay. Render preview. Okay. Save. Okay. Now select the build. Um, press tab to add a mode. And I am going to select that ver vertex there. And I'm going to select this option here, the proportional editing, because what I want to do is I'm going to lower this belt a little bit, just like in the reference photo here. Okay. So now as that's selected. I'm going to press G. See? But I'm going to scroll. You see that circle? The circle there. See that circle? This circle here. This tell how much um, influence is gonna have on the other vertices, depending on how big the circle is. See? Okay. In this case, it's gonna go like this, and then from here I'm gonna bring it a little bit forward. Then I'm going to select this and fix this so they don't be touching each other. Okay. There's any other thing this part here and it's needs a little bit fixing. See you notice I wanna kinda lower a little bit this the this end of the belt here. But if I do that, I will be lowering everything. See, so I go again to this option here and select connected only. And now it only lower that part there. See, so it won't be touching the jacket there. And I think that is it for the belt. Okay, so as far as the editing the texture goes, we still got left the jacket, the top, the gloves, and the boots here, but I'm not going to be showing that on the video because that's pretty much the same process that, that I did on, on the skirt and the belt so it's gonna be kind of repetitive doing the same thing all over and then the video will be kind of boring the one last thing I'm gonna do is only the hair here and then you know that what that will be the, the the last thing I will be editing for this second part video, and I start by selecting it. And when you go here, you see that you see many textures here. See, and let's go here to this option here, and then go to 
edit tab and press A to deselect it. And now when you go back to the material option here, you can see you want to see like for example which area here belongs to this texture here and you select it and press the select option here and this is pretty much what it covers see or deselect see you can see different parts of it okay i'm only gonna do the hair for this um example here okay which was this from part here if you notice it's way too glossy okay so let me put this here first thing i want to do is check here some setting for example the specular in this air i think is way too much so i can set that to 0.2 see and you notice the roughness here is zero which means it's gonna be very glossy as you can see on the rest of the hair here so let's just put that to i would say 0 0.6 fix that okay and now okay just gonna do a render preview here so you can notice the difference now between this um, portion of the hair and then the rest see now it really looks good okay so the rest um, I will be doing it um, but not on this video and the only thing left will be for the in the third part is for me to to edit this jacket to kind of cut the sleeves here and, and kind of give that effect as she have the sleeves rolled up as i mentioned before in the, the photo reference here see she looks like she has those sleeves um rolled up so that's what i'll be doing in the third part and then you know probably using another pose for her and doing a rendering and that will be the the third part for the next video so i hope you have enjoyed the second part and if you did please um select the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching see you next time